Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Kuldeep here. Today we are going to learn about the concept of properties file in Java. So as a part of today's session, we will see that what is the properties file, why we use it, and then we will see that how to read the data from the properties file. So friends, this is the agenda for today's video. Let's start. So first, let's try to understand that what is a properties file and why do we use it. So the properties file is a file we use in the Java to keep the project configuration parameters like username, password, browser name, application URL. So basically the things we don't want to hard code in our code goes into the properties file. So let me tell you a very good example of the properties file. When you are creating automation framework, then we have one config that properties file where we keep the browser as a configuration parameter. So let's see, we want to execute our test cases on the multiple browser. Then we can change the value of browser from that config.properties file so that we can execute our test cases on the multiple browsers. Okay. Along with that, the extension for the properties file is dot properties. In properties file, we need to store the information in key value pair. So you can see a few examples here. This is my key and along with that we must have one value. So let's say that my key is username and its value is Kuldeep. For the password the value is 1234 and uh, for the browser it is Chrome and app URL it is google.com. Okay. So I hope you got the point here. That what is the properties file and why we need to use it. So let's try to understand this thing practically. So let's go to the Eclipse. So guys, it is recommended that we should keep the properties file inside a separate folder. So we can have a folder like resources and uh, here I will keep the properties file. Okay. So this is my resources folder. You can simply right click, go to this new and select this file option. And we can give any name. So let's give the name as the config dot properties. Okay. We need to store the values in form of key and value. So let's store few recent parameters here. So first let's keep one as browser. Let's keep some name as Chrome. Another let's keep as the app URL and uh, let's keep it google.com. Okay. Our configuration properties file is ready. Provided here two configuration parameters. So first the browser and second is the app URL. Okay, so let's see like how we can read these properties file values. So let's create one Java program and uh, name as read prop file. Okay. Select this main method from here. Okay. So to read this file, we need to use the file input stream class. So I will write in this way file input stream. Okay, let's give one variable as FIS and a new file input stream. Okay, so let's import the correct package. 
boot this file input stream for java.io and then now if we mouse over here then we can see that uh, basically file input stream is a class that obtains input byte from a file in a file system what files are available depend on the host environment and it is meant for reading the stream of raw bytes such as image data for reading the stream of characters consider file reader so basically it is used to read the files why this error is coming so it is saying like the constructor file input stream is undefined and we need to provide the file path here let's pick the file path for this configured properties file so simply right click select this properties and copy this path okay config dot properties right and then we can handle the exception by using add throws declaration okay now let's move to next step now we need to create the uh, of properties class so for that we can write properties prop equals to new properties and import the right package for properties so that is the java.util okay and now we need to load this file inside this uh, properties class object for that we can write prop dot load and here you can see like it's saying that we need to load the input stream okay so what is our input stream here so input stream is the fis so simply write the fis okay the mirror okay so let's see what is it so it is asking to handle the exception so we can click this add throws declaration our file input stream is loaded inside the properties file and we can read the data now okay so to read the data we can write the prop dot get property so here you can see like it is asking to provide the key name here so we can write uh, what was our key name that was the browser okay and keep it inside a string variable it is browser name you can print it as well this out and uh, browser name is okay and in the same way we can get the value of second parameter so that is the app url so we can quickly do that as well so here we can write the app url and uh, Application URL okay. okay, okay, so our program is ready. Let's execute it. See what is happening here. So let me right click and run a Java application. Perfect. So here you can see like it is giving the browser name as Chrome and application URL is google.com. So the same thing which we have provided here is in the console. Okay. So now if let's change this parameter value. So let me change it to IE. Okay. And let's execute this program again. So here you can see like the browser name is IE and uh, the application URL is the same. That is the google.com.
Okay, friends, so this is the way you can read the data from the properties file. I hope it is helpful to you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much.